Finally this week, our person of the week. It was her birthday which caught her attention. She is 96 years old today. And there is simply no question that she has secured her place in history. For she has created a permanent part of the national cultural heritage. She is a dancer. I only know this. You dance because you have to. Martha Graham is to dance as Picasso was to art. During nearly eight decades in the theater, she has defined and perfected the art form that is modern American dance. I would describe it as an attitude, an attitude toward the body, loving the body, exhibiting it, and uh, treasuring it. Her impact on modern dance throughout the world has been to give it a style which it never had before. For Martha Graham, performance is the ultimate expression. Martha Graham was born in Pennsylvania and raised in California. Her father, a doctor and a very strict disciplinarian, would have no part of dance lessons for his daughter. But as a teenager, Martha was thrilled by the performance of the Ruth St. Dennis Ted Sean dance troupe and she joined the Denishon School of Dance when she was 22. That was 1916. Sean, that's him on her right, described her then as awkward and shy. Five years later, she came to dance in New York's Greenwich Village Follies, an opportunity to stop the show. I only wanted to dance, and I made up the dancers to dance. The dancer as choreographer. By the time she had formed the Martha Graham Dance Company in 1931, she was already creating dance for others. She considered the classical ballet of the day little more than sleepwalking. Her conception of form and movement revolutionized and revitalized American dance. Form and movement expressing emotion and drama. Dancer as actor. Makeup is a magic. It's a ritual. The means by which you transform yourself into the character you hope to play. It is through you, her love, her hope, her fear, her terror is to be expressed. Miss Graham spent the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s touring the world with her company. Reviewers raved, sometimes, but audiences packed the houses always. There was that time in Italy, however, in the early 1940s, when Graham was loudly booed as she herself performed. I reached a point at which I was deeply angry. And I had my back to the audience, and I turned. And they stopped. And I said, ah, you can be had. I'll take you. The spiritual home for Martha Graham has always been New York, at the Martha Graham Dance School, where she is artistic director. A towering figure for all who come. Do it once more, just once. Ready? And... When you teach a person, you are embarking on a very holy time. You're taking a life into your hands. The Graham Dance Company, in its 64th year, is the oldest such institution in America and is about to begin a tour of Asia. Martha Graham is completing work on her 180th original ballet and has no intention of retiring. To retire to what? What do you do? Uh, vegetate or reminisce or something? No. I want to exist. Now is the moment. And so we choose Martha Graham, existing now at 96 today. The great choreographer Agnes DeMille may have said it best. For untold generations, she said, dancers will dance differently because of Martha Graham. That's our report on World News tonight. I'm Peter Jennings. We hope you have a nice weekend. Good night.